busy, guys. Hey, these tadpoles are growing and they are moving. Check them out. Hey, busy guys. See, look at that, look at that. Look how fast you are. So I uh, cleaned the water again with my clear bucket. Um, I tidied up, I tried to get rid of some of the, more of the icky, you know, bits and pieces of muck. Um, and need to organize. I took out some of the jewels and stones here because I was disrupting the water. And these tadpoles all were hanging out on this side, the opposite side from whence I was pulling the water of the dangerous bucket. Um, but let's see. Go get some food. Look how fast you are. Their tails are getting thicker, finally. The water is not cold and freezing. Trying to give them the best environment to thrive. Sprinkle some more magic. I need to fix this ramp. We are expert ramp makers in the preschool three classroom, right guys? Right? We make some awesome ramps. Um I'm trying to inspect Look at it up close on this tab pole that's moving around. His tail actually does, I can see sort of a translucent fish-like tail that is actually wider than that dark, thinner, waggly part of his tail. Almost looks like there's fur on it or something. I don't know what that means, but the not all of the tadpoles have that same sort of change in their look. So, I wonder what happens first. Do the tadpole legs get shorter? Do they get thicker? One of them's getting thicker. Do they get shorter and then some legs grow? And then the, and then the front arms grow? And then the tail disappears? We're gonna see. We're gonna see the order while this happens. So right now, in terms of busy, thriving tadpoles, I count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Some of them started moving around and they're also obviously rocks they can hide under. But 14, should we do that again? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Look how busy. What's up, crazies? You're gonna be moving soon. You get out of the water soon. We should probably make room. Can't just be jewels up here. Although, who doesn't want to scale a mountain of jewels to get to the top? It's a little bit more glamorous. <laughs> of course, we have to have a glamorous <laughs> tadpole container. Would you expect anything less from Miss Ansley? Glitter girl? Okay. This is exciting. We've got some healthy, healthy tadpoles. Unicorn ducks. Kind of let me down with your floating ability. Pattern of our buggies. Recognize this pattern. I wonder if I could create a more interesting pattern. Still keeping the mirror thing going by putting a unicorn duck. 
and then maybe the, the grasshoppers. How about that? And then anchored again, alternating unicorn ducks. Ah, don't you fall in. And butterflies. Oh, you really want to go for a swim, but you don't have the health and safety equipment to not tip. That was pretty cool. Maybe we'll put these. Hey, what are you gonna do? Will you sit? Will you sit in the lounge? Gotta create an atmosphere wherever you go, right? Even tadpoles want to feel like their lives are exciting and full of discoveries, right? Who doesn't want adventure? Okay, cool. Um, no crazy rain today. Our trees are still down. Here's cutie pie. Cutie pie! Say hi to the camera. Where are you? I can't see because of the glare. Here she is. Are you going to come down the steps to say hi? Hi. Oh, okay. And let's take a look at the tree. Inspection. We have power. We have sunlight. Our basement flooded. Look for the silver lining. Whatever a clock. Here's in the sky, yes. Try to see the sunny side of life. Uh, this dirt area has sort of fallen deeper into the ground. There's more of a crevice here. It wasn't quite that uh, finite when this first happened. It sort of looked like maybe we could put the plant back in the ground. And by plant, I mean giant 100, 200 year old tree. But it's becoming more official that this just isn't going to survive. These, see how this flower bed is like on a wall when usually it would be flat because of how far this tree tipped from here to Therefore stuff that was this way Hit that. It's perpendicular. Tree went from here to here. Ground went from here to here. They each twisted 90 degrees. Or a quarter of a circle. A quarter of a pie. Meow. All right. Any more exciting cave things happening in here? Just no snakes, please. No deadly animals. Yeah. And if any parent can tell me, because my Gardener of Eden mother is not entirely sure what kind of plant this is. They are like lilies of the valley, although they are a shrub. Um, lilies of the valley are like plants that more grow from the ground, like in a flower bed, like flower, versus like a tree, like this guy. Um, these are actually quite gorgeous, but they're p passing their prime their season just a few days ago they were lush and white and fragrant here's another tree over here that is got white flowers on it white flowers of different shapes and different clusters then the leaves have sort of pattern modeled speckled pattern i don't know what name of tree this is I think this is a birch tree. So this this kind of bark. 
Reminds me of trees in California where I grew up. Um, I'll have to ask. And then check out these gorgeous purples, magentas. I know we get into disagreements in our classroom about uh, shades of color, which, you know, that just shows an eye for detail. Is it eggshell white or is it cream? Is it magenta? Is it pink? Is it pinky purple? Is it purpley pink? I don't know. Lots of different shades of pinky purples and reddish pinks and pinkish reds and bluey purples and purpley blues and whitey pinks and pinky whites. <laughs> It's too bad we can't make these types of adjective, uh, these descriptives of colors, uh, I don't know, in uh, legitimate in the dictionary. Ooh, hey, busy guy. Like, to me, this dual color is like a pinky, orangey red. It's not orange. It's not red. It's not pink. I would say this is pink. Isn't it interesting? The nuances of color. For example, we've got this light blue jewel circle and then this dark navy-ish color, royal blue cut like an emerald cut. This, I would say, is kind of a greeny yellow. Mostly yellow. But not like Mr. Golden Sun yellow. Not like Bumblebee yellow. I am grateful that I'm not colorblind. I am grateful that I have my eyesight. I am grateful that I can observe all of the range of colors and shades. What are you guys grateful for? I'm grateful for electricity and air conditioning and showers and soap and my glasses and chirping birds and blue skies and family. My aunt is here for the first time since the restrictions have been lifted. She's here for Sunday dinner. So I'm gonna go um, enjoy her company. Um, we're all staying away from each other, but at least we can break bread. So, anyway, miss you. See you in like a week and a half. We're going back to school. Yay.